num 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 In this video, I'm showing you how to make this lovely hard crochet, uh, mosaic crochet cushion. Actually, this is a pillowcase, so you can insert any cushion you like inside. Uh, the measurements are 50 by 50 centimeters, and we are using the following yarns. First of all, it's Alize Burkum Classic. One moment. Focus, please. Too light for it. Alize Burkum Classic. Three skeins of white and three of purple. And five millimeter crochet hook basically this is everything you need also you need of course a zipper right which you need to sew in once you've finished crocheting and that's it well put a like to this video to support me it means a ton to me and proceed to watch the process the first two rows are pretty easy we cast on 83 plus 1 stitches 1 2 go on until you have 84 stitches cast on that's 84 stitches we always skip the first stitch because it it's never worked uh, it it's here to make the edge nice and walk into the second one Single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch and proceed until you get to the end of the row. Don't forget we've got a tail here, so please weave it in as you go. I'll show it in a sec. Here we are. The first row is almost finished. We put the tail next to the chain stitches. Make sure you catch it when you walk the single crochets now. So, like this. It should be secure. Another one. And again. Until you get to the very end of the row. And your tail is secured. Later you could either cut it when you when you wash, when you've washed the pillowcase, or just leave as it is, just trim it maybe a little bit shorter. So finish this row. Cut the yarn, pull it through, and we're ready to start row two. For row number two, take the other color. This makes the color of the heart, so choose the yarn that you would like to see. Uh, we insert the hook into the first stitch, the one that we didn't knit, uh, didn't crochet in the first row. Pull it through. And this tail, we again weave it in as we go. So we put it close to the stitches and now we make one. Again, this one is the start of the row stitch. We never walk into this, we start the row here. Uh, and the first stitch, the very first stitch, should be walked under both loops. This is important. We do it to secure the edge like this. And then we go on and walk only into the back loop of the stitch. Don't forget the, to pick the tail to secure it as we go on into the next one. Well, we win at least to this part. Tail, you either trim it or leave it as it is, doesn't really matter. So keep on crocheting using only the back leg of the stitch, only the back loop, until you get to the end of the row. Row number three. This is where the fun part starts. So we again insert the hook into the very first stitch. 
pull the yarn through make sure we were in within the tail chain one walk the first single crochet under both legs of the stitch and make sure you within the tail so that's the first stitch to secure the edge and this is where the fun part starts in the chart you can see a cross in this row you can by the way follow either the chart which has stripes uh, these stripes show which uh, yarn color you should walk in and uh, the crosses show that you need to use uh, double crochets i'll show it in a moment or you could use the chart which uh, shows the hearts and the pattern itself uh, depends on onto you probably the striped one is easier because you get to focus only on the single and double crochets and not on the pattern and you can compare with the pattern in case you need it so we can see a cross in our chart this means we work a double crochet and we walk it in the previous white colored row so we're walking in white and we need to walk it in the previous white colored row this is why we walked the previous row into the second uh, into the back leg of the stitch because the front one we're gonna need right now so we insert the hook into the front leg of that stitch in the previous white colored row and we work a double crochet voila the next stitch is a single crochet into our row like this and again we've got a cross and we need to walk into this stitch like this so we get this checked pattern this way it looks like fair isle if you're not familiar with the technique but it's easier because you work only in one color per row this is great i love it oops uh, split stitch let's do it again like this go on whenever you see an x you walk in the previous row of the same color i'll show you how to fix it then basically it's the same but anyway i'll show the end of the row one more time we weave in the tail from the previous row here's the last double crochet oops and a single crochet under both legs of the stitch cut the tail leaving like maybe six centimeters pull it through and uh, make sure you weave in minimum four centimeters of your tail this is basically it this is the technique the back part is stripes and you've got all the patterning happening here at the front do remember that we chain one stitch at the start and this is where we start the row we insert the hook right into the stitch the next stitch is walked uh, the next single crochet is walked into the both legs of the stitch then we've got the patterning if you have no cross you walk a single crochet into your row the back leg of the stitch and you've got if you've got a cross uh, you work uh, it double yeah double crochet into the previous a uh, uh, row of the same color make sure you pick the stitch right below the one you're working on and we walk it into the front leg of the stitch at the end the same we walk the last stitch single crochet under both legs of the stitch cut the thread pull it through weave it in basically this is it so see you when you are done with the pattern i'll Put both charts in the description in the info box below the video one of them will have only stripes with uh, crosses to show where you need to walk double crochets 
it's probably easier to follow. And the other one will have the chart uh, with the heart shapes and uh, the crosses as well. So you could choose either to follow when you are working on this pattern, on this pillowcase. So guys, I finished the front part of our pillowcase with the hearts. Just follow the pattern and you'll get the same stuff. Then I made the back part, uh, which is basically the same number of stitches, the same number of rows, only you don't work the double crochets in purple, only in the off-white. And you've got this waffle pattern. Actually, this way. Exactly the same. So you just don't have the heart, the hearts in it. And now it's time to sew them together. I've started and that's what it looks like so far. Oh, I need to pull the thread tighter. Uh, let me show you how I'm sewing these two together. First, the thread I'm using to sew is the same thread that is used for the main crocheting part, only that I've split it in three parts and I'm using it double. So I've split the yarn right originally and now I'm holding it double. It's quite well, it doesn't break easily, so it's fine for sewing. Then, uh, first I wanted to pick as little as possible, make these uh, stitches as close to the edge as possible, but it didn't look nice. What I'm doing now is inserting the needle, take a look, into the white double crochets. And uh, first, in the, right in the middle, and then in between, again, in the middle, between, in the middle, between. So last time it was between, now it should be in the middle, like this. And I'm checking that I take the right stitch, the right double crochet, and pull the thread. Mine is rather long, so it takes quite a while, but I don't want to have any... Yeah, it could get messy a bit. Yeah, done it. Pull it a bit, so that uh, it's not visible when we finish. Now it should be between the double crochets, and here also between the double crochets and pull it all the way through. Done. Again. Inside the double crochet. And here also inside the double crochet. It's quite far from the edge. This is true. But at least I like the way it looks like when we Look at it where it's visible, where it's going to be visible. More or less fine, the stitch, this kind of edge. So proceed to the top. Then I'm going to work basically probably the same way. Uh, I might, I might just probably take the, uh, here we've got these stitches, right? The top row. I'll take the inner stitches so to make it less visible I'll see when I get to it I'll show you okay and that's how we sew the front part the upper part of the cushion of the pillowcase actually I've decided that picking just one thread is way too flimsy so we insert the needle into both loops into both parts of the stitch on both sides like this, pull, tug it, and then back. This is how you do the upper part. I 
I'll finish this, then I'll finish the side part on the other side, and then there'll be only the zipper to insert and to sew it in. I'll show you the final result in a moment. Well, here's the final result. I've inserted the zipper and sewed it, and inside there is a pillow which is 50 by 50 centimeters fits rather nicely and it's finished ready to be used i might only wash it probably just to just to make it cleaner after all the working process and that's it have a nice happy valentine's day with your loved ones subscribe and put a like to this video to support me it means a ton and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.